A new video released by the Chinese Air Force Pilot Helmet Development Agency shows several of China's current advanced helmets in unprecedented high definition, including the J-20 Stealth Fighter Pilot's Helmet and the J-16 Fighter Pilot's Helmet display. Before we dive into it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. The helmet manufacturer point out that modern fighter pilots need the best protective gear, the most important part of which is the helmet. Now, Chinese pilot helmets have been integrated with display and other complex features and functions. The latest Chinese helmet-mounted display has reached the level of shoot on sight, which greatly facilitates the combat operation of pilots. The earliest pilots' helmets in China were mainly local production of Soviet helmets, and the helmets were made of fiberglass. Because the material restriction, the helmet weighs more than 1.5 kilograms. Since then, China has continuously optimized the design of pilot helmets and integrated more into the air combat process. The first major breakthrough was the replacement of fiberglass with aerolon, which not only reduced the weight of the helmet, but also significantly improved the protective effect. With the introduction of more novel lightweight protective helmets, manufacturers have broken the original curved and sleek shape pattern of pilot helmets and adopted a linear design, which makes the helmets look more muscular. With the introduction of the concept of general utilization and modularity, the manufacturer carried out several rounds of optimization and improvement on the helmet, and the nicknamed Panda Helmet was born. The helmet is called Panda Helmet by netizens because it includes two oval-shaped weight loss holes that contrast with the color of the helmet's lenses, just like a panda's eyes. General utilization is a major breakthrough in China's latest generation of helmets, a helmet that can be adapted to different generations of fighter jets and different combat scenarios. Modularity means that the new helmet can integrate different functional modules. For example, when used at night or in close combat, the helmet can be equipped with night vision goggles and sight through standardized interfaces to ensure the compatibility of different devices. At present, the scientific research enterprises are still refining the models and providing one-to-one -one customized service to Chinese military pilots so that each pilot has the most suitable helmet. In the past, the traditional helmet was divided into three types large, medium and small. Some pilots reported that the size of the helmet was not suitable, especially in the case of long endurance and large overload, there would be a painful feeling of local compression, and the helmet displacement was too large during maneuvering flight. In order to ensure the combat effectiveness of the pilots, the research and development staff further refined the design for pilots to carry out one-on-one -on -one personalized helmet customization service. The researchers scanned each pilot's head in three dimensions to create a digital head shape, allowing them to create their own helmet. In addition, it is now common to put the pilot's name on the helmet to increase the sense of honor and identity. Helmet sights and displays are among the latest developments. This kind of helmet can empower the pilot greatly in battle. Its main purpose is for the pilot to see the target and shoot. At present, China has achieved the independent research and development of helmet sight and display. After the realization of binocular overlay technology, the display field of view of 30 degrees by 40 degrees can be provided, and the flight information and weapon information can be output to the pilot's eyes. At the same time, the helmet can also use the pilot's head orientation to direct the fighter's fire control, weapons, radar and other sensor systems to the direction the pilot needs to detect the most. The researchers added that future development directions include integrating physiological monitoring information, such as eye tracking and brain wave information, on the basis of helmet-mounted display, to create a comprehensive smart helmet. The helmet will be the first platform for interaction between the pilot and the fighter, and the most important auxiliary device for the pilot's decision-making. There have also been several upgrades to the pilot's oxygen masks, including the most advanced indigenous anti-valve, before that, there were usually two valves on the pilot's mask, an expiratory valve and an inspiratory valve. The latest masks now include an anti-suffocation valve. The improvement is an indigenous innovation project in China and is usually used in universal helmets. If a pilot needs to eject in a dangerous situation, he or she may become unconscious during the process. In this case, once the pilot falls into the water, he or she will not be able to remove the oxygen mask. After the oxygen mask hose flooded, the pilot could drown and suffocate. The latest addition of anti-suffocation valves is designed to prevent this from happening. In terms of protective clothing for pilots, China has also gone from a single function to a comprehensive level. The latest pilot suits are designed to withstand extreme conditions such as high or low temperatures, high overloads, immersion, and fires. 
In addition, it is essential that protective clothing provide an auxiliary means to assist the pilot in breathing and oxygen supply during high overload flights. By pressurizing the airbag inside the clothing, the blood vessels in the legs are squeezed back to body to ensure enough blood push to the head, ensuring the demand for oxygen supply. Pilots are equipped with life jackets around the neck and anti-immersion and thermal clothing, in case of falling into the cold water. Fire retardant fabric is used in parts such as vests for pilots to address possible fire risks. In the past, pilots' protective clothing was designed for a single protective function. When pilots need more than one protective function, they need to wear a variety of protective clothing. This complexity not only increases the weight of the clothing, but also affects the effectiveness of the pilot. As the degree of automation of aircraft continues to increase, the requirements for situational awareness of pilots are also increasing. The research and development personnel have carried on the integration and comprehensive clothing design to improve its effectiveness. Finally, under the condition of ensuring the operational requirements, the aesthetic design degree of pilot's clothing is also improved, and dragon and eagle elements are integrated into the clothing design. The figure of war eagle on the clothing adopts the traditional Chinese styling, reflecting the concept of eagle strikes the sky. The dragon scale element is printed on the joint position of the pilot's clothing, reflecting the concept of descendants of the dragon. Thank you for watching my video, and again, please subscribe to my channel, share and comment, thanks.